Okay, somebody jump into that. So, um, I'll explain to you what this whole little powwow is. Hunter and I were camping up in Utah and it was freezing cold and we were hanging out with the dudes from Camp Chef. And so we're hovering around, I think it was this setup, and we were trying to stay warm. But we sat around and we talked about it and I was bragging about the equipment because this was some of the equipment that we opened our first restaurant on. See, when we designed the first restaurant that I had, Johnny Garlics, my business partner and I, we didn't have a kitchen to work in, so we had our Camp Chef stoves. And we would set them up and we would sit there and develop recipes. So I told that story and then I talked about the durability and I talked about all the creativity they have in their design. And that just came up with this idea is that we should show some of the versatility and some of the factors and facets to what we dig about Camp Chef. So I'll give you the breakdown. Jules, we're gonna make some pork chops. So, uh, awesome. And again, let me just tell everybody, this is not an infomercial because I'm not an infomercial dude, but I figured this was a great way to show Hunter, my son, of course, and my nephew, Jules, what they should be looking for. So here's the thing when I talk about the versatility. So go ahead and season the chops. We're gonna sear these chops off in this cast iron pan, and then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna finish them in this. Now the cool thing about this, this can work as a grill, this can work as an oven. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first sear the chops, and we're gonna throw them in there, go low and slow, let them finish, and then we're gonna hit some veggies. Okay, awesome. Do you know what BTUs are? No, I do not. It's how we measure the output of the burner. A gas burner at home is about uh, anywhere from 15 to 17,000. These right here are 30,000. So this is wow. restaurant level BTU. Now the great thing about this is the burners and the ignition systems, when you get ready to light it, you'll hear this, okay? Nothing more annoying than to be trying to find the stick lighter. We know we've all done it. I've never seen these things go out. So that's screaming hot. I've got the oven going low and slow. Chops are seasoned. Go ahead and drop them. All right. Okay. So we'll let those go for a second. And this is another thing about why we have a camp stove. Granted, we have a great kitchen inside the house, but we'll have this out because this amount of smoke right now in the house isn't gonna make Lori very happy. Come out here and do your blackening, come out here and do your low and slow, come out here and get away from the whole mess that's going on inside. Go ahead and give it a turn. There's a lot of different cast iron that's out there. You want really good, you'll notice that this cast iron isn't pitted, okay, and it's all even. This cast iron that they have, when you can take it and beat it up like we do it, and when we take it and throw it right in fires, <laughs> this is this is the real deal. He's gonna cook all the way through in the pan? No, no, that, see, that's a great question. This pan's too hot yeah. to take and let it go finish in the oven. So what I did is I took this third burner over here and I've turned it down to low. Okay. So we're just gonna let it sit here and it'll just finish itself out. Again, I always talk about versatility. If I only get to bring this much with me to the tailgate, it's all gotta work for me. Gorgeous, perfect. Killer. Okay. I want you to just think that you're going to a tailgate. You only got your your little car, Hunter, maybe you have your truck, but you load up a cooler, you put in some chairs, and you want to have everything that you need. Well, the one thing you don't have is space. When you have the ability to open this up, you can hold some utensils, you can hold some of your key ingredients. I mean, you got a cutting board over there. To have that versatility, I mean, I can cook with anything I want. In the cook world, this is the go-to gear. In my opinion, this is one of the most versatile things they have because this is using the burners to heat it, and it's got this big, heavy base in the bottom and these cast iron grates. But if we want to take this off because we want to go run a pasta pot and we want to fry onion rings or whatever, we can do that. They sell the components interchangeably. Go ahead and grab those, Hunter. To me, the cooking equipment is usually what dictates what you're going to be able to make. We're gonna have shrimp, we're gonna have chicken, we're gonna have beef, we're gonna have veggies. Where we take it to the next level is what do we have to cook it with? When you have something like this, you have enough BTUs, because you gotta think about the ambient temperature, it's not really warm today. But I take 30,000 BTUs and a Camp Chef Dutch oven, we can make French fries, we can oh, make yeah. corn, we can make anything fried you ever want. We also have the ability that if I wanted to throw a big stock pot and we wanted to do like a crab boil, we have enough BTUs to do it. So it's usually dictated on what type of equipment do you have and how versatile is it? Why don't you go ahead and drop your onions and peppers in? And some jalapenos. This is what I was gonna tell you about this little kit. So we're there, Hunter and I are sitting there cooking in Utah and I didn't bring my knife bag and they break out these tools. And I'm looking at this, I'm going, wow, that's not a bad little spatula. You know, it's got good edge on it, you can clean with it. And then all of a sudden he shows me this little pack, but it came with a knife and a spoon and a pair of tongs and that. Wow. Yeah. That's what got my whole big mouth started talking about it. Okay. In my career and in the time that I've done what I do, I only get behind things I believe in. No, you can't pay me enough money. If I hadn't beaten these things up, 
If Camp Chef had a Hall of Pain, there would be a few of the Fietis up there. I mean, they take a beating. When we would do portable caterings, this is what we survived on. We couldn't afford the stoves that we have in the restaurants now. This was the makeshift restaurant uh, for, I don't, can't even tell you how many years. And wow, still today. I love it. OK, let's try this now. Oh, yeah. Slice it up, Jules. Everybody had, when we were kids, a little camp stove with a little propane bottle. It's what we all started from. But we all knew that a camp stove was this big, had a burner that was that big, and gave a flame that was that big. And I think that was great when you were camping out of the back of a Volkswagen bus. But nowadays, every's bigger, badder. I mean, look at the trucks, look at the camping, look at the adventures. So to do it, somebody had to step up. I'll tell you what. I'm always looking for how can I break it? I mean, like, where is it going to fall apart? How is it not going to work for me? I haven't made it happen yet. What do you think? Woo. Huh? Killer. Isn't that great? All right, so if you want to get more information, and I think everybody, I'm a website junkie. I want to oh, go yeah. and I want to see everything they have. But if you want to do it, go to campchef.com and you'll spend an hour. You'll enjoy it.